Hello, this is Michael J. Emery. I recommend that you listen to this program using headphones and in a location where you can close your eyes and remain undisturbed. Visualization is the process of using one's imagination to internally see specific events, but it can incorporate much more than just your sense of sight. By learning how to identify and amplify your perceptions of the information that is coming in through your five senses, you'll be able to greatly enhance your capacity for creative visualization. It doesn't matter if you're using this for your own personal development or perhaps to refine your ability to perfect a sport, enhance a business, participate in a hobby, or just out of curiosity. What you're going to find is that the experiences held within this program will bring your awareness to the elements of visualization that had previously been generalized, distorted, or deleted. This program, How to Visualize Self-Awareness in the Five Senses, is one of three programs specifically focusing upon enhancing your ability to visualize. These three individual programs can be used in any sequence and will teach you how to utilize submodalities, which are the finer distinctions or dynamics of perception, how to visualize in time and space, and how to visualize in a way that incorporates all of your five senses. With practice and continued use, you're going to enhance your ability to clearly form and change your mental imagery. This is an important skill set for some people who see that their ability to visualize can be related to creating the experiences they desire to have in life. In the past, you may have already heard me say that visualization for some people has been evasive, not because it's something beyond their capacity to learn, but instead something that was never practiced and cultivated. This program will teach you how to begin with the basic components of mental imagery that are often overlooked, but are nonetheless consistently present, showing you how to practice with fundamental forms to vivify what you perceive in your internal representation. Once you can do this effortlessly, you will find that you are experiencing a heightened sense of internal awareness. Your ability to create and imagine scenarios and paint pictures within your own mind will be greatly enhanced. Likewise, will your ability to vividly inspire the people with whom you communicate by speaking in ways that colorfully illustrates the outcomes of your words. When I create audio programs such as the one you're listening to right now, I often go to this one coffee shop in a bakery. It has a great environment with lots of light and I'm able to just put on headphones listen to music, and write, as I'm doing right now. But what I enjoy the most is watching people outside, because when they get close to the bakery, they unconsciously slow down and begin smelling. It doesn't matter if they're old or young, fit or fat, everyone slows down automatically, as if all of a sudden the air has grown very thick and difficult to penetrate. One of the things that I read here today was a case study stating that prior to the 1980 Olympics, Russian scientists compared four groups of Olympic athletes in one of the better known studies on visualization for sports. In this study, the first group did nothing but 100% physical training. The second group did 75% physical training and 25% mental training. The third group did 50% physical training and 50% mental training. And the fourth group did 25% physical training and 75% mental training. The Russians concluded the experiment with the discovery that mental images act as a prelude to muscular impulses. As the fourth group, with 75% of their time spent in mental training, perform the best. Beginning now, visualization is going to mean much more than just